Hello everybody, Neo Absolutist here, and I'm back with the Empire de France. Or the Republic de France. Oh, Egypt, come on, man. I thought we were good pals here. Um, we recently took Quebec in the last war. <laughs> which is, which is honestly pretty great. I really want to take uh, South Quebec from Canada too, which would be. And wait, wait, hang on a second. War of British control over Canada. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe it's time I, you know, sp oh my god, that's so good. I could swoop in and take southern Quebec. How much infamy do I have? Mm. I'm gonna try it. We gotta retake Quebec. We gotta try to retake Quebec at least. Oh, that's that's kind of shitty. All right, we need some steamers. We need some. We get some Cleveland steamers up and going. Once I get battleships, I think I'll start making a navy. All right, this guard division is gonna go to Marseille. Or Marseille. Get some ports. I do need to upgrade these because they're kind of out of date. I can get some more states then. Let's take a look at the great powers. Um. Well, I'm I'm in the lead right now. My military isn't the strongest, but. Wow, really? Um, hmm. All right, well, let's just get those those guys up and going for right now. The fourth army is gonna go is gonna be sent the to Quebec. French Coromandel Coast. Um. Yeah, sure. That's... No. Is that here? No. That's here. No. <laughs> Wait. I don't know where the hell it is. Maybe it's here. Or here. I, I don't know. This is really weird with the whole uh, South um, the Souths, South America thing. I mean, Confederate States. Look, there's Robert E. Lee. Oh, it's in Toulon. Excellent. All right, we're getting we're getting a lot of boats getting done here real soon, and that's when we'll show those Canadians that we are the rightful owner. And we're gonna take back Quebec. And then we're gonna get, we're gonna get our French our French boys back. Um, let's get cheap steel because our we need our industry to be more powerful. Um, oh, Saigon, that's gonna take forever. Who built that? Britain, I hate you. Um, 
What do people want? Education. Okay, I mean... I'm fine with that, I suppose. Education's good for everybody. <laughs> I guess. Every miserable fool who has nothing at all of which he can be proud of adopts at least at a last resource pride in the nation of which he belongs. He is ready and happy to defend all its faults and follies tooth and nail, thus reimbursing himself for his own inferiority. Arthur Schopenhauer. Silence. I kill you. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean... <laughs> I... I think there's some guys coming back from Saigon. There should. Oh. Um, I'm gonna send these guys back to North America. They don't have artillery, but, eh. No, no, don't, don't go that way. Go this way. What are you talking about? Yeah, Canada. We're gonna... Nobody likes you, Canada. <laughs> Oops, sorry about that. The war of British aggression is still going on. Oh, we got a few years. We got like two. Um Okay, let's let's not build stuff in uh in Pondicherry. I don't know why there's so many French soldiers over there, but there are. <clears throat> this is 26% French. Never mind. Oh, Polish nationalists. Um. Phosphates and France Comte uh, copyright. We have a lot of factories just being pumped out. <clears throat> Why is there so many factories in French Newfoundland? Suppress this. Now. Okay. S Nicaragua. Suppress this now. <laughs> Correct. You're telling me that. Wait. Wow. I have never seen Imperial Japan win. It's always the Shogunate. Or like Russia invades and they take like Kyoto and it's really gross. When one of those two options happens. Oh, Sardinia. Oh, come on, man. I did No. Ugh. My justification was going so well. Who are you at war with? 
Better not be Baden. It is Baden and Bukovina, whatever the hell that is. Saxony, Hesse, Domstedt, and Baden. Um, I can help for a little, I guess. Um, you kind of got this right. What's this war over? Oh, dude, I don't want to fight the Ottoman Empire. Goodbye. Sorry, Sardinia. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to fight them on your own. Haha. <laughs> No. <laughs> Alright, our steamers, our Cleveland steamers have... Holy shit. Is this all Ottoman ships? What the hell? They have 112 ships? God damn. Go, go back to Barcelona, I'm sorry. I know you guys are very busy with, uh, you know, suppressing people from Catalonia, but... Mm. Alright, go to Fort Rupert, steamers. We're gonna call this one the Fort Rupert Steamer. Build the Eiffel Tower. Hell yeah! Um, let's get high and low pressure steam so we can get some Cleveland steamers. This Cleveland's in Ohio, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Alright, let's take Cleveland and Detroit. <laughs> Conservative arguments the conservative arguments prevail, of course. Austria, you look really weird and gross. <laughs> I don't know if I really hate the Confederates border or I kinda like it, but uh, I'm a little iffy on it right now. Oh, there's British people. Guess what, Britain? I'm gonna take your colony back before you. Actually, I'm gonna take my colony back. Okay, good. Our boys, our boys in Quebec have landed. You don't have any friends, right, Canada? If I were to declare war on you. Southern Quebec. Why, yes. Quebec will be ours once again. Ching Hai. Yeah, nobody really cares right now. <laughs> Ooh, Portugal. Historically, was, wasn't Portugal, like, like, they were, like, all about France, right? I think. Well, like, all about French Napoleon, that is. Portugal really didn't do all that much. Man, we're getting a lot of immigrants. Ooh, Canada it has a navy that's trying to fight the British. Oh my god. The Royal Navy is sinking. 
kind of. Mmm, it's kind of even now. Actually, not really. I mean... The British just have so many ships. Cannon, I'm rooting for you, but I'm also not. Oh, no. How much war score does this cost? A hundred? Are you kidding me? Oh, whoa, whoa, Confederates, who are you going to war with? Um... Hmm. Sorry, Confederates, I prefer the U.S. It was kind of like a funny little gag I did there trying to support you, but... Right now, I, I really don't feel like supporting you. Um, let's get some iron steamers. Sardinia, did you get out of your war? What happened? Ew! Oh, that's gross, Austria. You just screwed yourself. Like, royally. Actually, I don't think Britain's going to be doing that good in this war. Mm. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> We're about to walk back into Montreal after... What? Like... Like 120 years, something like that? It was a while ago. But we've returned. You will no longer be oppressed, my fellow Frenchmen. I can get open immigration, which I kind of want. Child labor abolition movement. Well, I can't necessarily, you know, abolish it right now. And that's, that's not my fault. It's your fault, you guys. Alright, Canada. We could have been cool, but you can't just, you know, try to reseed your... Ooh, that's good. I'm sorry, Canada. It's what must be done. Now on to Montreal. Ooh, look, there's another British army. Brynn, I would say you're gonna win, but you're not, because the U.S. hates you. <clears throat> and you don't have enough soldiers. You have enough soldiers to beat Canada, Britain, but not... You know... America, too. Yeah, that's oppressive. I love being very oppressive to my people. Again, Canada, just don't siege my land. Go, go fight the British. I should probably go occupy their capital. Isn't it Ottawa? Where is it? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna split in half these guys. Is it, is it Ottawa? Yeah. Ew, Canada's an absolute monarchy? I'm gonna have to split these guys in half, too, just... So I can, you know, get Ottawa.
David Cockburn. <laughs> Fuck. Man, am I immature. Yeah, sorry, Somalia. I, I'm, I'm not really sorry, but... Hmm. We're gonna subsidize this mine. All right, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to split these guys in half too. And then we're gonna split these guys in half again. Uh, it's 1867. I don't think any big military thing should have happened. Um, let's get business regulations. I think that's a good idea. We'll see what we can do. Um, the South is doing something. Ew, support communists. No, thank you. Hey, look, the Navy's here. Like, finally. I'm gonna send you boys up north. We need we need some more French boys up in Quebec to help to help siege number one. Interventionism. Um, our population is pretty conservative. We're still the Union Liberal, but I think conservatives are gonna win this election. I'm, I'm hoping they win the election anyways. All right, let's let's not get too crazy here, boys. Um, okay, that was that was close. We almost lost uh liberal one again, but eh. Where is the source of the Nile? Yeah, okay. <laughs> the French people have spoken. South's not looking too good now. Seems like the U.S. is kind of st stepping it up a bit. Homo Neanderthalus. I prefer Homo erectus, personally. They just beat rocks and scream a lot. Um, okay, great. Good job, guys. Great start. We're gonna go. We're gonna go beat up the Canadians now. The Royal Canadian Army. Uh. Okay, that that was a pretty decisive.
defeat for the Canadians. All right, Canada, you want peace now? Because I, I think, I, I think I won. Just give me Quebec, please. <clears throat> Oh, Britain doesn't have claims on this. Oh, that's great. Let's try again. Uh, sure, Sardinia. Didn't we already have an alliance? Uh, I don't trust collectivist theory. Uh, sure, Sweden. Let's be friends, I guess. <clears throat> Alright, Canada. It, it's, it's time to give up now. I think it's time to give up. Oh, that sucks. U.S., do you want to be friends? Please? Damn, they're at 99% war exhaustion. And they're getting Jacobins. <gasps> no! You can't just white piece out of this war. Sorry, Canada. I'm not going to let you just go under British, British control again. No. You're mine. Man, poor US. Here, US, I'll give you some war subsidies. I know it's not much, but... Portland Cement. No, Canada, stop. No. Canada, unless you offer me your territory, I'm not accepting peace. Well, okay then. Stop. Okay, we're Canada. Real mature. Just keep sending me white piece. You're making a fool of yourself, Canada. <gasps> well, see, now, now, now you're... Oh my god. I mean, you know, you know Canada, now you're kind of speaking my language here. This is a, this was a good choice. The boys, the boys in blue. I'm sure Morocco. Who are you allied to? Give me too about any great power allies. Who am I allied to? Is... Is... No. I don't think I'm allied to any great powers. Well, anyways. I'll just get, like, European friends then. We really did it. We really took Quebec. I can't believe it. I did not expect that to go as well as it did. We're doing really well as France. I gotta say. Alright, steamers, you're gonna go back home. Um. Okay.
Ooh, stock market crash. Okay, that's not good. I hopefully that doesn't affect us too much. <clears throat> huh. All right, boys. Great, g good job conquesting. Oh, I kind of hope America loses now. I mean, all right, Sweden. I mean, we, we've done. We've already been allies, but I mean. General Leroy Fock is dead. Oh no. Okay, Hesse. Man, this is this is fantastic. We got our French Canadians back. And French people are moving to Canada that don't consider themselves French Canadians. Raise the French flag. Man, the French flag has been raised everywhere from the New World to Spain to, you know, Germany, Belgium. The French people are, you know, they're loving it. And you know what? David David has... David's starting to take a welcome... No, they're not. They hate French people still. Well, I don't really like David either, but... Excellent. Steam turbine, you say? Phenomenalism. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're doing phenomenal. Build the Panama Canal? Huh. Alright. That sounds fun. <clears throat> well, I mean, we've done a lot. French Quebec is back and better than ever. The mysterious ruins of the Yucatan. Cornish engine. Thanks. Where is my fedora? Lady. <laughs> uh, shit. Okay. No child labor. I'm sorry. Are you happy? No. Anglo Canadian patriots. Wait, hang on. No, I don't think I want that. I think I want this. Not not right now. Uh Let's have a lavish exhibition and a national conference. Those two things sound very nice. Krakow, Hungary, Alright, yeah, I, I do want Hungary in my sphere. They're gonna be like... They're gonna be really useful in the east. Alright, Russia, we're gonna be... We're gonna be good friends. The best of friends. 
or it's gonna be our alliance is gonna be called like the League of Good Friends and peace and hating Germany. Man, I make too much money. I mean, I'm not complaining, but. Empire system? Yeah, we're an empire. Our population is growing like crazy. Oh. Oh, and they're anti military. Alright, Russia, I don't know why you hate me sometimes. How many divisions does Prussia have? Ooh, that's a little too much. Alright, well, great, we got empiricism. Let's get impressionism. We can conduct a census. What does that do? Sorry, CSA, I can't be bothered to fight the U.S. right now. Maybe one day we'll get Louisiana back, but... You know, this area. A splendid idea. Yeah, let's host the World's Fair. <clears throat> Why does Bukovina exist? <laughs> oh, we got the World's Fair! 12 prestige. The Dutch still hate me. Or, well, not the Dutch, but the Belgians. Or the Wallonians. <clears throat> However... Catalonia is slowly being becoming uh, French. Hmm, what do we need? Okay, we have five infantry. Alright, we need two two dragoons. Two dragoons and an engineer. Whoa, UK, what are you doing? Whoa, UK, what are you doing? Um, what's a bit concerning? You planning an invasion, UK? <laughs> Canadian White Army. Huh. Look, this is primarily French now. This is all French Canadian too. <clears throat> Build the Palais Ganier or Ganar. Um Alright, let's do that. The Palais Garnier was from its inauguration eighteen seventy five to nineteen eighty nine. 
the chief home of the Paris Opera, designed by Charles Garnier in the neo-baroque style. The Opera House was widely regarded in its day as a masterpiece of modern architecture, and was widely imitated all over the Western world. The Palais also served as the inspiration of Gaston Leroy's classic novel, The Phantom of the Opera. Really? That's kind of interesting, I guess. Houseman's Renovation. The Houseman Plan was a project for the modernization and urban renewal of Paris carried out between 1852 and 1870. The project was initiated, initiated after a period of rapid urban growth and development, as the old center of Paris had proven itself incapable of meeting the infrastructure demands of a growing city. The long open boulevards championed by Houseman have remained defining characteristics of Paris streets layout ever since. Okay, that's cool. Claim authority in the Holy Land. Huh. Well, I think I'm going to end it here. Uh, thanks for watching and all that. Alrighty.